For today's video, we are going to talk about what is Remainder Theorem and we are going to explain everything in details. In Remainder Theorem, if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is equal to p of c. So when we say remainder, it is the quantity left after a number or expression that can no longer be divided exactly by another number or expression. So the remainder is zero if the number or a certain expression can be divided exactly. So those are the basic concepts that you need to remember in studying remainder theorem. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we have p of x equals 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 4 and our divisor that is x minus 4. Since our constant is negative 4, we are going to have the opposite sign of our constant and that is positive 4. And let us substitute this one to the value of x. So let us have 2 multiplied by 4 raised to 3 minus 7 times 4 raised to 2 minus 5 times 4 and then plus 4. So let us simplify. Let us have 2 and 4 raised to 3. That is 4 times 4 times 4. That is 64 minus 7, 4 square, that is 16, negative 5 times 4, that is negative 20 plus 4. 2 multiplied by 64, that is 128, negative 7 times 16, that is negative 112, negative 20 plus 4, that is negative 16. 128 minus 112, that is 16, minus 16, and that is 0. So that means the remainder of 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 4 divided by x minus 4, that is 0. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have p of x equals 2x raised to 7 minus 3x raised to 5, plus 4x cubed minus 5x plus 3, and our divisor that is x minus 2, and our constant is negative 2, so let us take the opposite sign of the constant, and that is positive 2. So let us substitute this one to the values of x. So this will be 2 times 2 raised to 7 minus 3 times 2 raised to 5 plus 4 times 2 raised to 3 minus 5 times 2 plus 3. So let us have 2 and then 2 raised to 7, that means you are going to multiply 2 7 times to itself and that is 128. And then 3 times 2 raised to 5, that is 2 multiply 5 times to itself, that is 32 plus 4, 2 raised to 3, that is 8, negative 5 times 2, that is negative 10, then plus 3. So let us have 2 multiplied by 128, that is 256. Negative 3 times 32, that is negative 96. And 4 times 8, that is 32. And then negative 10 plus 3, that is negative 7. So let us have 256 minus 96, that is 160, 32 minus 7, that is 25. So 160 plus 25, that is 185. And this will be our remainder. On example number 3, we have p of x equals 9x cubed minus 12x squared minus 11x plus 2. And our divisor, that is x minus 1 third. Since our constant is negative one-third, let us have the opposite sign of the constant, and that is positive one-third. So let us subject this one to the value of x. So let's have 9 times one-third raised to 3 minus 12 times one-third raised to 2 minus 11 times one-third plus 2. So let us write 9. And 1 third raised to 3, you are going to distribute the exponent on the numerator and denominator. 1 raised to 3, that is 1. 3 raised to 3, that is 3 times 3 times 3. It will give us 27. 
and then let us have negative 12, 1 third raised to 2, that is 1 over 9, negative 11 times 1 third, it will give us negative 11 over 3 plus 2. 9 multiplied by 1 over 27, that is 9 over 27. Negative 12 multiplied by 1 over 9, it will give us negative 12 over 9. Minus 11 over 3 plus 2. Since 9 and 27 are divisible by 9, we can rewrite 9 over 27 as 1 over 3. And negative 12 over 9 are divisible by 3. Let us rewrite this one as 4 over 3. And then let's have negative 11 over 3 plus 2. Since we have the same denominator, let us have 3 as the LCM or the denominator. Let's have 3 divided by 3. That is 1 minus 4 minus 11. 3 times 2, that is 6. So let us simplify. Let us have 1 minus 4, that is negative 3. And negative 11 plus 6. That is negative 5 over 3. Negative 3 minus 5, that is negative 8 over 3. So this will be our remainder. On example number 4, we have b of x equals 2x raised to 5 minus 3x raised to 4 minus 6x cubed plus 9x squared plus 8x minus 12 and our divisor that is x plus 1 half. Since our constant is positive 1 half, let us have the opposite sign of our constant and that is negative 1 half. And let us substitute this one to the value of x. So let us have 2 multiplied by negative 1 half raised to 5 minus 3 times negative 1 half raised to 4 minus 6 times negative 1 half raised to 3 plus 9 multiplied by negative 1 half raised to 2 plus 8 times negative 1 half minus 12. So let us have 2 and then negative 1 half raised to 5. So basically, you are going to distribute the exponent on the numerator and denominator. And always remember, if a negative number raised to an odd number, the result is always negative. And if a negative number raised to an even number, the result is always positive. So let us have negative 1 half raised to 5, that is negative 1 over 32. 2 raised to 5, that is basically you are going to multiply 2 5 times to itself. So let us have negative 3 times negative 1 half raised to 4, that is 1 over 16. Let's have negative 6 multiplied by negative 1 half raised to 3, that is negative 1 over 8. And then let us have 9 multiply by negative 1 half raised to 2, that is 1 fourth. And then, let us have 8 multiply by negative 1 half, that is negative 8 over 2 minus 12. So, let us simplify. 2 multiply by negative 1 over 32, that is negative 2 over 32. Negative 3 times 1 over 16, that is negative 3 over 16. Negative 6 multiplied by negative 1 over 8, that is positive 6 over 8. And then let us have 9 times 1 fourth, that is 9 over 4. And negative 8 divided by 2, that is negative 4 minus 12. Since 2 and 32 are divisible by 2, so we can rewrite negative 2 over 32 as negative 1 over 16. So let us rewrite this one. And 6 and 8 is also divisible by 2. So 6 becomes 3 and 8 becomes 4. And then let us have 9 over 4. And then negative 4 minus 12, that is negative 16. So let us combine this one. So let us copy the denominator, that is 16. And let's have negative 1 minus 3 plus let's have 4, 3, plus 9, then minus 16. So let us have negative 4 over 16 plus 
3 plus 4 or 3 plus 9 that is 12 over 4 minus 16. So let us simplify this one. 4 and 16 are divisible by 4. So it will give us negative 1 over 4 plus 12 minus 12 divided by 4 that is 3 minus 16. So let us write negative 1 fourth and then 3 minus 16 that is negative 13. So let us simplify. So let us have 4 on the denominator and let us have negative 1. 4 multiplied by negative 13 that is negative 52. And negative 1 minus 52 that is negative 53 over 4. So this will be our remainder. That is negative 53 over 4.